I'm just going to throw in a hot take right now, okay? Mm. And say, what for? No real need for seniors to go digital what, given hey. their stage in life. Irene. The seniors will be digitally savvy if you get them the thing that Incentives you want. Incentives. Yeah, yeah. There's always has, a, has to be a need. But, but you know, I, the way I think about it is that uh, there will always be a group of you know, uh, citizens who mm. feel that um, it should be their choice. And mm. I think we should respect it. Definitely. I think we cannot force people. Correct. You know, mm. but mm. they will own self feel left out. You are right. Mm. You know? So the way in which we should go about mm -hmm. it is mm. to identify opportunities mm. to um, show them how, what it can do for them mm -hmm. and then they can decide. Mm. But in order to do that, you know, there will be many different touch points. Yeah. So if we depended on seniors go digital mm. and the ambassadors alone, it won't mm. be enough. No. Mm. So what we did was that um, somewhere around the, the start of 2021, we started Digital for Life. Yes. Mm. And the idea is that, you know, Digital for Life should be a, a, a platform mm. to bring in different partners under the Digital for Life program. Actually, uh, partners who want to come on board mm. to help whether it's seniors or mm. any other groups, actually there's a fund. Mm. The fund oh. can actually support Got grand this kind of grand one, yeah. Correct, yeah. But because we, we really want to make sure that people have the opportunity yeah. mm. to be active digitally and then gain mastery. It's not something that you can become good at overnight. <laughs>